Happy Saturday, everybody. This is Evie, Raya, and the Last Dragon Sunshine here <laughs> with an unboxing of a doll that um, I've wanted for a while. And this is Human Sisu from Disney's Raya and the Last Dragon. I'm going to be honest with you. I have not seen this movie, you guys. Um, I heard it's adorable, but I have not seen it. I do want to see it, but I probably won't see it for a minute. But it's really, i I seen the um, previews. It seems like it's really cute. Um, but I did need this character because her face is so expressive. And it's just the kind of doll that I like. Okay? It's just the kind of doll that I like. I hope everything's been going very well for you, Dolly Tribe. Um, I hope there's not been too much difficulty or strife in your life right now. Um, so I hope things are going smoothly. If not, just know that your Dolly Tribe got your back. You can persevere. You're going to get through it, whatever it is. Okay, let's get back to the doll. Here she is in her box. Just a very simple Disney box. Um, we have the Disney logo. We have the Raya and the Last Dragon um, logo. Then we have an image probably from the movie or something like that. I'm not sure. Or just an image of Raya. And then it says down here, Human Sisu with additional articulation. So, <laughs> let's move forward. Here is the side of the box. Showing nice little foliage glowing flowers and whatnot here is the back which is very simple as you can see it says disney raya and the last dragon there's all of that on the back just kind of bare and then on this side it has a pretty interesting look of some ruins or something and there goes those lit flowers again those blue lit flowers so it's a pretty simple box and let's move forward with the unboxing i always like to start down here at the, the bottom of the box. That way, if you choose to keep the doll in the box, which I'm a deep boxer, so that's very rare to happen with me, um, you can still do so. But I still do it just in case. You never know. So I'm getting her out of the box. It's look like it's very hassle-free type of inspired, you know, box. Here's the box without the doll in it. Looks like it's very easy to um, recycle. Ooh. <laughs> um, here she is not in the box anymore. Not with the reflective little plastic sheen on the front. Here she is just looking as she's looking. Just a plain background of wherever Raya and the Last Dragon takes place. And then we just have the doll. You know, simplistic. It gives us what we're looking for, which is the doll. Let's see what the, how she's strapped in. Just a lot of plastic tabs look like that need to be undone. Very annoying. We're going to speed through this or edit this all together, so we'll be back. All right, everybody. We have human Sisu out of the box. So let's get into more detail about her. Yes, let's do that. Let's bring her up. I hope you can see her outfit from the front and the back here. And let's take a look at that beautiful face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so here is her beautiful face. Her face kind of reminds me of somebody. Probably my friend. <laughs> My friend, Jennifer, she has a really cute face, very expressive face. Like my friend Jennifer has a very expressive face and a lovely big smile that spreads across her face. It's really gorgeous. And 
I just love her face, period. And it's probably because she reminds me of one of my good friends. So that could be it. Let's take a side look. A side profile. Super duper cute. <laughs> Super duper cute she is. Oh, she can move her head up like that. And then, ooh, she has a nice range of motion going on here. Okay. Let's do that again. Oh, she's so cute. Excuse me. <laughs> and then there are her ears. Got some nice size ears. And it says Disney and made in China. Yeah. Okay, so her... Um, outfit feels like some felt and it's like a teal color with like a plum or maroon belt uh, with some gray fur around the collar and then we have like a little off the shoulder bit right here um, she has some really gorgeous like icy blue hair it's really nice it's kind of so light blue that it's almost white and then we have some little kind of curls that kind of pop off to this side, kind of like what my hair used to do a lot. And then she's rooted. Let's see how well she's rooted. She's rooted pretty, pretty well. You know, I can't complain. Can't complain about it whatsoever. I don't collect a lot of Disney dolls, so I don't have a lot of it to compare it to. And then she has on these, you know, kind of roundabout harem type pants thingies on they're really cute i like the sheen on them i like the fabric feels really nice it doesn't feel cheap whatsoever um look like it's well sewn and things like that the pants look more expensive than the top does to be honest here is the back of the top it velcros in the back the belt is is sewn onto the whole top and then you can take the top off Ooh, and there you can see here there's her additional articulation that she has which is very nice oh excuse me and then she's holding like this orb like this little metallic looking orb thingy my guess is it has something to do with those light flowers that we've seen on those uh, light flowers we've seen on the box. I don't really know. I ain't seen it, but, you know, just feels like that. Here's her arm articulation. She's articulated at the wrist as well. Let's actually show it to you. She's articulated at the wrist and also rotates and bends up and down. And she has that made to move looking knee. You know? Bloop. 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 So, the Disney girls are keeping up with the Barbie girls, right? Yes, they are. And then we have, you guys, we have these little shoes, these little flats. They're decorative. Looks like a little dragonfly or something on the shoes. It may just be the way it's designed. And they do have to be rubber band onto her feet. I'm not going to mess with those right now to see what else they do. But she does have articulation at the ankles. So Human Sisu is a very um, cute doll. Um, she's very, very cute. Ooh, <laughs> hope I didn't break nothing. Hoping that, hope, I'm hoping that was just the, oh, like she's a new doll kind of thing. That little snap noise I heard. She's really cute, you guys. It's a Disney doll and she has the most expressive face. Just a really cute little character that is now in the Sunshine Queendom Dolls family. So everybody, let's welcome in Miss Human Sisu, who will probably be turned into something that has nothing to do with Raya and the Last Dragon later on um, in the in my little Dolman Sphere 
um all this layered up looking stuff is just one top all together the belt and everything is just all together in case i didn't say that earlier but now has come the time of the video where i thank you guys for dipping in the dollmosphere with me um i definitely appreciate it i want to thank you to everybody who has newly subscribed to the ev sunshine channel it is greatly appreciated i do i want to tell you guys that i am very happy that you're liking the um face mold fridays that will continue um it may not be every friday but i'm definitely going to try to do it as many fridays back to back as possible okay all right now i also want to tell you guys be safe stay positive and remember to never forget to keep the sunshine in your life <laughs> yeah you guys know sometimes i gotta bring it differently so i did <laughs> thank you guys for watching and see you next time bye wave bye sisu